Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. This week we are live from the Royal International Horse Show. <laughs> down at the stable rock we've just found our stable we're just gonna put some shavings in ah! JJ's more interested in the grass and um, now I'm saying hello to everybody but yeah just gonna fill it up with shavings and then sort my crazy hair out because whew, I'm a mess JJ's all settled into his stable now tucking into some haylage it's kind of cloudy but quite muggy here it's now about what five o'clock is it yeah yes yeah, now about five o'clock um plan is to get the lorry ready sort of muck out the poo tidy things up a little bit and then we'll be taking jj for a nice hack around the showground to give his legs a good stretch hey you're pretty laid back aren't you you're just food motivated as always <laughs> yes here are the wash stations pretty cool and just to put in into perspective how big this show is. Stables here, stables all the way down there. Behind the hedge line at the bottom is actually like the show. And we're through here, behind this hedge line, where there are more stables. And I mean, this is the first day. This is, well, this is Monday. The show actually starts tomorrow. And then the shops and things don't officially open till Wednesday. Look how massive the showground is. It's raining as soon as I get ready to ride and it rains. We haven't had any rain in Norfolk for forever. And it's raining here. Did I bring a waterproof coat? No, I didn't. <laughs> the official guys, I'm riding at RI. I'm just taking him for a hack. I'm gonna hopefully get my bearings and kind of find where to go because it's such a big showground and just have a little walk really. He doesn't need schooling, just a hack. So basically there's this huge sand warm-up arena in here. All the shops are kind of behind. We're just gonna head down to the ring that we're gonna be in tomorrow, just so I, I at least know where it is and what the warm-up's like. Apparently you can ride in some of the rings, but this is very nice, this sand track sort of for all the horses to go on. JJ's quite forward going actually, aren't you? But he has been here before, so I'm hoping he won't be silly. I doubt it, it's JJ. But yeah, so far, I mean, it is a bit of a walk, but it's very beautiful, isn't it? And there are so many horses. Here is the working hunter course. I mean, you can't see it very well, but the grass looks incredible in there. This is the arena that JJ's in tomorrow, I believe. It has this stunning sand track and look how lovely. I mean, this is a super beautiful squishy green grass. And there's this uphill section here where they're gonna have to gallop, but it's quite a big ring. I mean, it doesn't look that big from the top, but it is. It's quite a big ring. wide this working hunter jump is, guys. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. When I've looked at the photos of this RI horse, before. I thought, oh, it doesn't look too bad, but it actually looks really, really big and wide. And there's also a hedge to jump, which is over there. So... There. <laughs> yeah. There's a ditch on the working hunter course. And actually, it's quite. Ooh, right. past eight. JJ's just having his tea. He's got his leg wraps on. He's got his waterproof rug on. All ready for the morning. Hopefully he's going to stay clean. He's got his nice big haylage net. Um, once he's eaten this, we're going to go and de de-stress, relax, chill, brush teeth and get ready for an early-ish night because JJ's class is at 9.45 in the morning and I have a feeling that those legs might not be clean in the morning. So please don't lay in your poo, JJ. Welcome to a very early morning at Royal International. Nearly everybody's up because the coloured classes start at 7.45. It's currently 7am. JJ isn't on till 9.45. Hopefully he's not laid in his poo. Time to get dressed and ready and look after the pony. Just come back to give you a bath. And you're chilling. 
No, now's not the time for chinning. We're going to get you up and get you ready. Just look at the lip. Was it a hard night? Hey, you good boy. Are, you, are we going to get up then and go go to have a wash? I mean, he's not ridiculously pooey. He's just a bit dusty because the stables aren't that clean. They're on grass, so they're a bit dusty underneath. But you're probably going to be filthy now, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. Wake up. Good boy. Good boy. He's prepped, JJ. All I've done is wash sort of any dusty marks off his legs. Um, put some white show paste on his legs. And hopefully his legs are going to dry. He's just out here snacking. Um, I've put some brill cream on his tail to keep his tail laying flat with a bandage. And hopefully that will stay clean. He's had a bum clean. And now he's wandering off good boy it's nine o'clock so i'm going to be going on in 45 minutes so i'm just going to get myself finished dressing myself get his tack on take him for a walk around the showground look at my beautiful hairnet look <laughs> uh, i mean the other disciplines have it lucky because i'm sure they don't have to go for this it makes me look like i'm bald but um shirt and tie on jods on literally just got to get my boots and my jacket on i try not to put it on until i'm about to get on because i don't like to get mucky but it's getting exciting Well done. Beautiful. Well done. Keep going. Wow. <laughs> well done. So I've just finished my class and it was an incredible experience. JJ was absolutely foot perfect. He really was. His gallop was so good. He went off like a rocket. He was so forward going. The ring was beautiful. There was so many horses in there and it was really good to do a class that's different because we've never been in a class full of colored cobs before. It's always been colored native horses and I've never seen so many colored hogged cobs before. Anyway, it was a fab experience. Wasn't placed, but he was foot perfect. He was really good for the ride judge too. His in hand was lovely, had a fantastic time. So I'm just having some sweets, fueling up after my riding. Just gonna have five minutes and give JJ some more haylage. And then we are gonna go check out the rest of the showground. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
different. How humongous are these show jumps? The main show jumping competition. If you've enjoyed this week's vlog, JJ has been amazing, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye!